Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, um, we're gonna do something kind of fun. You know, the A1 back there, it's got the recall, so I bit the bullet, and as you can see there on the front, I ordered the P1S combo uh, to tide me over until that thing gets uh, better. Now, I guess I say tide me over, but I'm gonna keep them both. So obviously I'm getting the, uh, I think if you saw the last video, I opted to do the uh, heat bed replacement, so they'll send me a new heat bed probably end of March. I'll get the $120 credit that I can use on the Bamboo Lab store for whatever I need. And I'm sure I'll be using, or I'll, I'll, I need filament. I'm, I run a small business. I print 3D parts. So I need uh, plenty of filament. So that's kind of a, a nice thing. But anyway, um, today we're going to do a quick unboxing. And I'll probably just kind of speed through this uh, or fast forward, time lapse it, etc. And talk about some of the differences between the uh, P1S and the A1, but uh, I, I don't really have a huge plan for this, and I know most people aren't probably terribly interested in a P1 uh, unboxing because this printer's been around for a while, but hey, it's my channel, so I do what I want, right? Let's get into it. Okay, a few thoughts on the A1 versus the P1S, or vice versa. So, first of all, um, it's nice to have a, an enclosed printer. Uh, as you'll see here, as I allude to later on in the uh, video, the P1S is definitely a much louder printer than the A1 is. Um, so that's something to consider if you are, like me, putting this in your bedroom. Um, it's not unbearable. It's definitely louder than my uh, Prusa, both the Mark III and the Mini, um, and definitely louder than the A1. Uh, as far as speed goes, it is just a little bit faster, I'd say, than the A1, although when you look at the tool head moving, um, it seems like it's moving much faster, and I think that's just because the tool head is moving in both the X and Y uh, axes at the same time, and you know the bed is only moving up and down, so it just kind of seems like it's really zipping around. Um, the AMS, I, I think I really like it. Um, there's some pros and some cons. I would say the biggest pro to the AMS uh, versus the AMS Lite is that with the AMS, so you can kind of see it there sitting off to the side, because it has that cover, it's fully enclosed. Um, I've actually printed some desiccant holders. So it, it does come with two, uh, you can, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on the mic, but uh, I just started a print on the P1S and it's, it's uh, doing its, you know, X, Y motion vibration compensation. So it's buzzing away back there, but anyway. Um, I printed some desiccant holders and you can uh, put those inside the AMS. So my AMS, although it's uh, the, the holders I have actually have a spot where you can put a, a little uh, humidity gauge on there that I got from Amazon. I'll probably throw that down here in the link as well as the, uh, the other items that I mentioned here. But anyway, um, it's showing 10%, but that's right there sitting. It's almost in the desiccant, so I think it's always going to read a lot lower than it actually is. But that's kind of one of the cool things. So, you know, that versus the uh, A1 there, uh, or the, the AMS light, where you can't really keep your filament, um, you know, dry. So that's just one little con. But there'll be more to follow uh, as we uh, go through with this. All right, well, we've got it mostly... Um unpack. There's a couple last things to do with the heat bed, but I just kind of wanted to uh, give you the first impression. So not in a uh, difficult setup whatsoever. Um, definitely want to read the instructions. Nothing, nothing too ultra critical in there. Uh, one thing, uh, I have no idea if you could see me leave, but I went to grab a screwdriver and then realized that when I did read the directions, the first thing you're doing is uh, using one of the included Allen keys. It's an H2. Uh, Allen key to remove some of the uh, packing uh, or actually you're unscrewing the AMS so you can lift that out vertically then there's a uh, shipping tray at the bottom that you need this to uh, I actually grabbed the tools from my A1 uh, but I will tell you that utilizing this tool here is not quite uh, ideal just because of the uh, length of the head there uh, so you're spinning this in some tight places. So this one is actually a little more ideal. Go figure. That's the one that they uh, sent with the kit. So let's, uh, while we talk about uh, what comes in here, there is a little accessories box that uh, pulls right on out there. 
So, um, they kind of go over all the stuff that's, that's on here, but uh, let's take a look. So, you have two Allen keys here. Uh, one is a little bit bigger than the other. There is a nozzle uh, cleaner. I threw it in the uh, little tube here that came with my A1. You have two cords here for the AMS. Those are the, uh, the data cables. You have your power cord. You have a spare nozzle. I believe this is another 0.4. So, yep, we have a, a 0.4, and since it's silver, this is not the hardened steel uh, version. I actually did buy, uh, one of the reasons I decided to keep my A1 is um, the black one here, I believe, is the hardened steel uh, version uh, there for the, for the A1. So I now have, I think I'm, I'm missing one. But that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna have to track down my .6 nozzle. It's floating around here. Oh, there it is. Put it over here because it was hot one day. So anyway, back to uh, P1S. So then you've got your power cable um, as well. And then in this little bag, we've got all sorts of stuff. And I think the majority of it is going to be lubricants. But let's go through here really quickly. You have, it looks like, two of the uh, wipers. Uh, you've got some for printed phone holder. So apparently there's a phone holder that you can print. We have thermal grease. I guess you can put that on your uh, nozzle if you would like. Uh, scraper. So I think this is very much like the uh, A1 uh, that little metal blade for the scraper if you want to print that. You have four hot ends, so we have an, a replacement clip and the screws that hold the hot end, the complete assembly together. Uh, four extruder, so a little extra set of screws there. We have, let me free my hands, we've got lubricant grease, so it looks like five packets of lubricant grease right there. Get those back in the bag. And then this right here. Little, ah, these are the uh, filament cutters. So we've got two replacement blades. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick those in the handy little tool case that I made for my A1. So I've got plenty of those guys on hand now. So. Oh, and then of course we have our filament. So it looks like they give you these uh, not not even close to full rolls. I think it's probably like 250 grams maybe. Uh, yeah, if you look at the little indicator there, it's about 250 grams of orange. Same in green. And then this is the one that gets everybody uh, support for PLA. I believe this is white. It is not a filament. Uh, it is used to support PLA, so don't try and print with this because you're going to run into all sorts of problems. And then, of course, we have our little uh, disclaimer and safety guidelines in here. So that is everything. I'm going to move this over to its new location, and I'm going to fire it up, and we'll get a first print going. Well, okay, it is uh, pretty much where it's going to be, so let's give this thing an initial fire up and see what happens. I guess I should plug it in first. Nothing more fun than squeezing electrical cables. <laughs> In various places. Well, there we go. Much better. Before use, please make sure that you have read the user manual carefully. We'll hit OK. And it's got me a little wait thing. And then next, be, let's see. Before use, please make sure that you have removed the screw fixed the hotbed. Well, we did that. We are going to set up for North America. And I am not going to let everybody see uh, the bamboo handy pairing like I did on the last video. So I'll be right back. Well, that took a little longer than I thought it would. Um, I don't know why it was uh, 
just a little bit finicky connecting to my Wi-Fi, but we're, we're up and running. Um, it, uh, oddly, you know, you have the shipping material underneath the bed, but uh, so far I have not seen any, anywhere where it mentions removing that. Maybe I just haven't read the uh, instructions far enough because it talks about now printer binding, download the Bamboo Handy app, connect the printer to power, uh, use the Bamboo Handy to scan the QR code, bind your printer, follow the instructions on the screen to complete initial cam calibration. It's normal to have vibration and noise during the calibration. Oh, look, do not remove the protective foam from beneath the hotbed until after the initial calibration is complete. Well, see, again, I guess that's why it's important to read uh, this stuff. So we're just gonna pop that back in there and it says finally let's run the self-test routine to check the status of your printer. We'll say okay, we'll hit start and it's gonna go through the self-test. So, that's a lovely sound. I will say that this is a much noisier printer than the A1, so that's, uh, that's fun. So, yeah, I'm gonna let that run and uh, um, you know, stay tuned to the channel because I'll be doing more with this and I got a little surprise for you all. Uh, this just arrived today and if it is what I think it is, I know it's probably a little hard for you all to see what's going on here, but this is gonna be coming up in a future video while well, that thing's doing its, its thing. A little company, or maybe they're a big company, reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to, uh, excuse you? Let's just, maybe if we close that. Well, they reached out and they said, hey, uh, would you like to uh, review uh, this item? So we've got the uh, Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech. So stay tuned, because that's going to come in a uh, video very soon. So. Hey, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, please, you know, with the drill, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell, come back and see me sometime. We'll keep uh, working with 3D printers. We're gonna keep on working with the lasers. And one of these days I'm gonna get out there and uh, show you the CNC and uh, all the fun things that we can do with that. So as always, I enjoy the time that we get to spare, spend together. So let's just keep on learning, burning, cutting, whatever the case may be. Take care, folks.